Well, today we're actually going to head back up to my living room and get all three of my motorized Serena shades to access with the hub and have voice control with all the voice assistants out there. So we're going to go with Apple, Google, and Amazon and get all three of them working. And then once you finish all three of those, we also have to get the remote working again. So let's head upstairs and uh, start with the setup process. So we're in my living room where I have the shades up here. Currently, I can control the shades with the remote control that I set up when I actually set up the shade. So in this case, shade three, I can close that shade. I can stop it. I can open it back up. I can do anything I want. However, I can also you do this with the Smart Assistant as long as you have one of the Lutron hubs. Now, I already have a Lutron hub for when I set up the Casita uh, dimmer switch in my bedroom. In this case, because I already have the headset, the hub set up, this video is how to add these to your existing Lutron hub. Um, Lutron hub setup is not hard um, if you just follow the instructions. Uh, mine is already set up with HomeKit with uh, Apple. So on the back there is the HomeKit number and when you set up the HomeKit app, it's pretty e easy and fast. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and go into the app and add these as an asset within my Lutron app. All right, so here we are, I have the app the uh, my phone open with the Lutron app here on the phone. I'm going to go ahead and open it and you can see here I already have it set up and I'm already logged in as well. Uh, you can see I already have the uh, my master bedroom light still listed in here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another device. So that should be I think up here and there it is. Add devices. So I'm going to hit there and it's going to get ready to add devices. So here we are. So we're going to add a shade Wait for the uh, LED to start blinking. This may take up one minute. Then press and hold the button up to 10 seconds till the light blinks. So we're going to head up to the actual uh, roller itself and uh, uh, click the button. So you can see that they're blinking up here. So I'm going to click on this guy. Push and hold. There we go. She's blinking repeatedly. And so on the app, I can tell you, I can tell where this is, which is in my living room. I'm gonna hit next. And this is the right window. And there we go. Okay, you can see the infrared stuff or whatever from my camera. And there we go. We're gonna add another device. We're gonna do a shade. So, it may take a minute, there you go, it already, it's, the light came on, so I'm in the center shade, I'm going to push and hold on the button here, until she starts blinking repeatedly, there she goes, on the app, came back in, we're in the living room still, this is center window, and we're going to let that add. While it's adding, that was actually red there for a second. And now we're gonna add another device. So again, one more shade. It's still green up here. We're gonna push and hold. Again, one last time till she starts blinking repeatedly. There it goes. On the app, living room. This is the left window. And as you can see, up it's blinking while it's doing its thing here. There it goes red, and then it went green again. And device. And so now we should be good. I'm done. And there we are. And so let's actually try this out without with doing the app here. Let's go to the right window and let's close it. There she goes. Let's stop it. Let's go back open. So the app seems to be working. If we do, uh, we can actually set scenes in here. 
let's say uh, a good night scene we select devices let's do all three of them in the closed position which you can see here right there or open see how you can see how it is that's pretty cool master bedroom light off and that's that's it fantastic and we can set whatever we want here we can set movie night we can set whatever we want hit save and now we have good night all set to go and even though I control it with the app I can also control it with my voice so with my phone or my home pod over there because I already have it connected to home kit with the with the hub I should be able to say hey Siri close the living room shades Obviously with the Wi-Fi, looks like it didn't close at the exact same time like we usually do with the remote. But I, I really don't care about that, but it's something to, to note at least. Let's see. Hey Siri, open the left window shade. And there it is. So now I can control uh, everything here with, with uh, Siri. Um, obviously there's going to be other integrations as well. So if we want to look at actually adding the uh, Google Assistant back to it, we're going to open up the Google Home app, which will give you all the information on the de devices in your home. Hit the plus button. Now, I probably already have it set up, uh, but you would actually hit set up a new device, have something already set up. We're going to click on that. And what I would do is actually type up here Lutron. And we're going to actually go to the Lutron Caseta and RA2 Select stuff, which... Um, Oh, there's a. I already have it linked. I already have my account. But let's hit check new devices. So if you didn't, if you didn't have it linked, it would just actually log in and, and authorize Google to use it. And there we are. We're gonna add the shades this time. Let's let's do living room. Let's do left first. It's at my home. It's gonna be my living room. Now I'm gonna do the other two as well, real quick. All right. And this is the last one. And I'm not going to do that one right now because I'm actually moving that to a new location anyway. So, all right. So now we have all three of them listed in here for Google to control as well. Okay, Google, open the right shade in the living room. Okay, opening the living room right window. So now we have Google working with it as well. And last but not least is going to be uh, setting up uh, Google, the Amazon Assistant. Maybe that's the best way to say it. <laughs> uh, in this case, we're going to uh, discover devices. So I'm going to do it through here. I hit add a device. Um, I don't think there's shades listed here. So I'm just going to hit other. Uh, and then I'll go to discover devices. And we're going to let this go 45 up to 45 seconds. I'll let this go. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have three devices discovered. Hopefully that's coming in decently clear. Choose that. All right, so we have the left, right window, left window, and center window, just like normal. Let's start with the left window. No, okay, so set up this. So turn off, okay. Center window and right window. And now we should be good with Amazon's assistant. Alexa, open the center window in the living room. Alexa, turn on the central window in the living room. So definitely a different way to say it, but it does work. So we set up the shades to now work with all of our smart assistants. However, now our fancy remote doesn't work anymore. So when I set it up the first time, I wanted to do it with just the remote as a standard setup. However, if you're going to control it with the app or with voice assistance, you should always start with that. Um, I did it this, that, that way at least I had it all, all set up and done. But now that I've done that, this does no longer work. So now we have to go through the app to get this to work again. So let's open up the app and get the road to work. All right, we're going back into the Lutron app. So here we are in the app. And just as before... I believe we have to go up to here and hit add a device. Let it load for a moment. Hit add device. 
Then we'll be able to choose remote. This is a shade remote, so this is a four shade remote. Um, Pico remote would be a single device. Uh, shade remote, there we are, down here at the bottom, shade remote. Press and hold the close button on your shade remote for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Choose the room where the remote is located. It is in the living room. Hit next. All right. One device added. I'm done adding devices. So now we have the remote in the living room. Finishing setup. Okay, so let's go into the shade remote. One, let's Edit the device, shades, shade group one is left window, shade group two is center window, shade group three, right window, shade group four, we don't have one, so I'm going to remove that all together. Yes, I am sure that shade group four is good, and we're going to back back out, we're going to hit save, and now, let's open, let's see if it worked. All right, so shade one, close. Shade two, close. Shade three, close. And we're back to where we should be. And to prove a point, even though that this definitely works each shade, or I can do all shades, let's go open all of them, or close all of them, or I should still be able to use the voice assistant. Hey Siri, Open the living room shades. And all of them are operational still. So we're still fully functional with the app, with everything with our voice assistance, as the remote works as well. So it's actually been a few days since I did this, but in uh, the main menu here, um, when you get into the, uh, the Lutron app, if you actually go to schedules, this has now been my favorite thing to do, is add these schedules into my shades. So at... Um, sunrise, if I actually hit the edit button, you can see that my devices actually uh, open at 50%. And so I can have this set to whatever I want. I can do 53, 54, whatever I want. You can actually grab this and actually adjust it uh, with just grabbing it as well. And so we have it set so that um, when my kids are you know, getting ready for school, at least it gives you a little more light in the room uh, than if you didn't have the shades at open at all. But we didn't really want to open it fully. And then I have it uh, so that when they go to school, they close and then they stay closed during the day. Uh, after school, when they get home, um, the shades open back up. But in this time, we're having them open all the way to let as much light in as possible. Uh, and then we have sunset, which we, sh we actually what we do... Oops, I actually triggered it. <laughs> but at sunset... Um, essentially what we have is it closes down to 25%. So we have it a little more privacy, but still allowing some uh, the last little light of the day in. And then we have it closed before, um, right now at 8 o'clock. We kind of been playing around with what time we really want them to make sure they're fully shut. But that way you can always verify, you know, verify that everything's closed when you go to bed. Because I've noticed that these do help definitely with energy as well, just like any other any other kind of window treatment shade type option. Keeps uh, a little more of the heat into the house. Obviously, right now it's wintertime, so same thing with, uh, with summertime. Keeps the cool in. So that is the complete setup of getting all the smart assistants and the app working, and as well, getting the remote working with the shades again. And so, in the end, um, what did I like, what did I not like? Uh, I think, obviously, because my... Uh, the the um, the hub is app home kits uh, capable and I already had that set up which of course I know is not a full setup in that regard um, it's pretty easy it's the same as any other home kit uh, appliance if you have that little digit code and you in the uh, home kit app you just scan and you're good to go that one was really easy to do the Google uh, assistant setup also very easy to do. You just have to have your email and password that you set up when you actually uh, set up the app um, or, you know, essentially the hub. Uh, you just log in with that and you authorize Google's uh, availability to do it. And both 
Google and Ho uh, uh, Apple Siri work fantastic with opening and closing the shades equally well. There's nothing that's great on either of them. They're, they're both fantastic. Amazon's assistant, I'm trying not to say your name, little different. Um, you always have to do the Discover devices, which takes longer and uh, annoys me more than anything else, to be honest about it. Um, I understand that it works fine. That said, the voice controls on both Apple as well as Google are identical. I say, the voice assistant's name to wake it up. Can you open the living room shades or the left shade in the living room to whatever? Or open or close, set to 50%, whatever. It will do it. It'll take my voice out of context. It doesn't have to be exactly how I want to say it. I, I don't have to say it exactly. With Amazon's, not the case. You cannot just say, open that shade. She'll just say back, I don't have the capability of doing that yet. Which is just ridiculous to me. You have to say, turn off or turn on. Which is funny to have a shade turning on or turning off. Because it's really not you doing either. Um, uh, that was weird. The other thing was, out of the gate, because I called it left window, center window, right window. Uh, even though it's shades, not windows. It's just the placement of the shades when I did it. Um, <laughs> In the app, I had to call it left center, uh, right, right, right window, left window, or center window. Uh, then I could create a group name uh, and create living room shades or living room windows. Um, and then, but you have to create that group with Siri and, and Google. I could just say, "Could you should shut the right shades that are in the living room?" Uh, it will create the group for me out of my voice. With Amazon's, I have to create the group within the app. So annoyance. Um, this is probably the main reason that I have Siri and, and Google in my living room anymore. And my Amazon assistants have kind of gone by the wayside. I still have a whole bunch of them in my house. But um, they're just more fluent with day-to-day -day speaking. It's the one thing I think Amazon has to, to get better at, personally. Uh, but that said, it still works. Um, and obviously, if you get used to it, it doesn't really matter. You'll just get used to doing it one way or the other. So... Thanks for watching this video. This was the full setup video, and we're going to do a review of this later. So I know part of that was kind of a review, but I did want to go over at least the little caveats, the little changes, the little differences between the three setups. Uh, and then, of course, the remote was fantastic. So that said, please comment below. Please subscribe. Please give this thing a thumbs up. Share the video if you can for me. And we'll catch you back here at GeekSmart for our new, uh, a future setup and tutorial. But... Head over to TechGooch. I will post the link not only to the main setup video for the shades that I did before this video, uh, as well as if you want to check out the actual review once that is posted. It's going to be a little bit, so if you see this video, it may not be up yet, but then again, just check for the link. Otherwise, head over to TechGooch and see all my reviews. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you back here for a future video. We'll see you soon.